Inside the Pitch, brought to you by Dort Financial Credit Union. And welcome to another edition of Inside the Pitch, the weekly feature on the Flint City Bucks and Flint City AFC. They are the men's and women's sides that play out of Kettering's historic Atwood Stadium here. And joining me today on Inside the Pitch is head coach Andy Wagstaff of the Flint City Bucks and team president of Flint City, who is Costa Papista. And uh, coach, let me start off with you here first, because we just had a game here against Inner Detroit. You win game three, nothing at school kids day. Uh, tell us about playing in this atmosphere and having that all, all that fun. Yeah, um, we talked to the, the players before the match, how special this is for these kids to come out on a you know school day and have a field trip to this beautiful stadium and, and uh, watch uh, Flint's local team uh, playing at a very, very high level. So, um, you know, I, I made sure that they understood that they're playing for these kids and that they're going to be looking at these kids like they're superheroes out there. And um, it was a great atmosphere. There was a lot of singing going on and uh, the, the, the rain came in at the end a little bit, which uh, created more screaming and yelling, but uh, overall, really good experience. And Costa, obviously you love getting into the community and this is one of those kind of events. It was amazing. You know, we had like close to 3,000 kids screaming, singing along. Um, love to see that. And for so many of them, it's their first soccer experience. So to see a big win and see, uh, you know, see the team play as well as they did today was fantastic. And we also, a lot of these kids have been at free clinics that we work with as well. We've got a big one uh, coming up uh, with the Crim Foundation. So we'll have another 150 kids out right out here getting instruction from our players. So it's it's a really cool, cool thing. And hopefully they grow up, they become soccer fans. They come out and they see in, uh, a game here at Atwood Stadium on their own. And uh, so, speaking of soccer, we got plenty of soccer for you this weekend. Uh, tell me about what's happening here on Friday with the, uh, the, the Hank Cup. So the Hank Steinbrecher Cup, we're hosting it this, this coming weekend. We won it in 2019 in Milwaukee, and we were supposed to host in 20 and 21, and they were both canceled because of the pandemic. So now we get to do it, finally. Uh, we've got two teams from Texas, Dallas and Houston, and a team from New York. And so two semifinals uh, on Friday, 4 o'clock. We play at 7.30. We're hosting Houston. And then the championship will be Sunday at, at 1 p.m. Um, so we, we can't wait. It's going to be really exciting to host this. Lots of executives from U.S. Soccer will be in town, probably seeing Flint and Atwood Stadium for the first time. So we can't wait to uh, show this place off. And Andy, uh, as far as your club is concerned, what a great opportunity for them to show off in front of all the scouts and everything like that on top of that, but play some of the, the better competition. Yeah, it's another national championship and, uh, you know, the books have had a, a great history of winning it. So. Um, that's what we intend to, to go for this weekend. We're at home. Uh, anyone that comes into our stadium, uh, you know, we're going to make sure they get the hardest game that they're ever going to get. And we're going to give the fans the best game we could possibly give them. So Friday night's exciting. We've got the lads who are ready to go. They're trained, they're uh, prepared, and they're just excited to, to go and compete for another national championship. What's it like all of a sudden you see on the schedule Dallas and Houston and some of these yeah. bigger names all of a sudden go, oh, where's Flint uh, amongst yeah. all of them? That's, that says yeah. something. It does, uh, but they know all about us. Uh, they know all about Flint and uh, the Flint City Bucks. So they'll be uh, they'll be coming in knowing that they'll be uh, go, you know running into a juggernaut. So we'll, we're excited this weekend to to make sure we repeat as national champions from 2019. That's going to do it for Inside the Pitch. We'll see you next week here on TV Five. Well, the news at 